Well, hello there, my darlings. Happy Thursday to everybody. Welcome back to Let's Build the World. And welcome to the third part of Pam and Paul's house. We are going to be continuing on with Pam's side, or Pam's cottage today. And I'm going to get the downstairs finished. So we're going to carry on with the kitchen. We're going to do the living room. We've got the dining room bit to go as well. The entrance hall, the toilet. We're going to get it complete today. And then tomorrow, what I'll do is whiffle on upstairs and we'll finish the upstairs as well. Um, I'm also going to introduce two new members, two new Sims to the world of Brindleton Bay as well. Um, Beryl's... Beryl? Beryl is not here, Aiden. It's Pam. Thank you. I'm also going to introduce two new Sims to Brindleton Bay as well. Um, on stream last night, we started making Pam's daughter... And her wife as well. So we made, well, we started Pam's daughter. I managed to finish her wife today. That sounds a bit wrong. I did not finish off her wife. I promise. <laughs> Why am I this way? I do not know. I really don't. But anyway, I'm going to introduce them to you. And also two new pooches into Pam and Paul's household. Thank you so much for all of your wonderful comments last time. I loved reading through them. I was pissing myself at some of the names that you guys were saying. Um, and I decided on going with Janice. So we've got Janice the Yorkshire Terrier. She is named after the amazing Janice Joplin, who is one of Pam's favourite singers. One of Pam's favourite singers. So that is what we're going to go. That's what I did. Went and went and did and did. No idea. Literally no idea. Let's stop fucking talking shit and get into game and build. Okay, so two new sims for the world of Brindleton Bay, my darlings. We're not going to be building or anything for them yet. They are going to be living in this lot here. But don't worry, this is a very big lot, by the way. Um, this is just up from where Pam's is. Pam's is over there. I'm going to be doing another row of kind of like houses here, I think. I'm going to be doing another row. So maybe two or three families. I'm probably going to put three families up on this particular lot. Um, so they're all going to share one lot, but three different houses. You know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? You must know what I mean. So anyway, this is Imogen. Imogen is an absolute beaut. I love her. We made her on stream last night on Twitch. Or I started making her on stream last night. I finished her off today. Not in that way, thank you very much. Did you hear that burp then? I probably didn't, but I did just burp. Um, <laughs> so this is Imogen. Imogen is very much into wellness. She really wants to teach yoga. She really wants to be a yoga teacher. But she really felt the need to take on her family business, her mum's fish and chip shop. So Imogen is running the fish and chip shop, which we will be making on the pier down there as well. So that is her business. I wouldn't say that she necessarily works behind. Maybe she's got employees that work and serve and stuff. Maybe she just goes in from time to time, deals with all the stock, does all the um, wages, all of that kind of thing, like a management role would, really. So that is... Um, what I think. That is what I think with Imogen. She's very carefree. She used to be a bit of a emo back in the day. She's a bit more, she's a bit more punk, but she's also a little bit more alternative. She likes a little bit more of alternative dress. I love her. Um, she's got great fashion sense. We'll show off some of her outfits now, and then I'll talk you through some of her skills and whatnot, and then introduce you to um, Bo as well. Um, so let's have a little look. Come here. Let me see some of these outfits, please. Um, I just love her. I think she's such a lovely interesting looking sim we also made her a work outfit for when she is in the chippy <laughs> which i love i'm absolutely for to be honest with you um and i just gave her some various other things she's a little bit i don't know she's a little bit can you androgynous i'm gonna say yeah a little bit of androgynous like both of them but they don't mind a little bit of a hit of femininity if you can call it that if you know what i mean um so yeah i really like her she's a little bit i wouldn't say she's a lost soul I reckon she just doesn't know what direction she wants to go in her life. She's very adventurous as well. They're, both of them together, how they actually met. I'll talk about that in a minute. Um, was through skiing, snowboarding. They do like to do that kind of thing. Maybe she's well-traveled as well. Um, and then moved back to Brindleton Bay after doing her travels and whatnot. Maybe she's got a few degrees under her belt as well. I'd probably see that in like philosophy. Um, that kind of vibe. That's what I'm feeling from her. I'll make that apparent as well and make her have some kind of degree or at least two degrees. Um, so she's just one of life's kind of drifters, really. But I absolutely love her. I love, absolutely love her. I'm in love. I'm in love with her. I was crushing on her yesterday, actually. And I'm gay. So I don't know what that is about. But um, Imogen, you're turning me. And I just think her hair suits her perfectly as well. Now, 
the lovely Bo Lee. So this is Imogen's wife. I reckon they've been together. They're probably in their mid-30s, both of them. Mid-30s going up towards sort of your 40s. Um, I reckon they've been married for about 10 years and they were together for about two. Um, they don't want children. It's just not for them. They just they don't like them. That is the um, <laughs> They just want to live their lives just themselves. I might do an animal with them as well. I might give them an animal. Um, I'm not too sure on that yet. Probably will because we're in the cats and dogs world. But Bo, it, they met in Mount Komorebi. Bo is actually from South Korea. She's from South Korea and she moved over to uh, Bridgeton Bay to be with Imogen. She moved over to, what would the, I reckon they probably moved, she probably moved before she moved back to Brindleton Bay. They met traveling, went traveling together and then went and moved to Brindleton Bay. Um, she's really cute as well. She's really lovely. I love her face. I love her hair. I just love everything about her. I think she's gorgeous. Um, a few of their skills and whatnot. So both love a bit of fishing. Very good into all of their like rock climbing and all of that business is all the way up there. Um, I had to make that for both of them, really, just so it kind of, and we've gone on to Imogen's now. Um, she, mm, just because it kind of matches in with their hobbies and whatnot and what they like to do. So, yeah, snowboarding. I reckon they do a bit of skiing and stuff as well. Not skiing, sorry. Um, like water sports, if you know what I mean. Um, but we can't do that because they, they don't really exist in this world in particular. But I can imagine them on jet skis and stuff. Do you know what I mean? That kind of vibe. I'm feeling it. I reckon Bo, I've made her a foodie and I made her really good at cooking and stuff. So I reckon she's a bit more in charge in the fish and chip shop where she gets behind the counter, interacts with all the locals and whatnot. She's the kind of front of house kind of thing. So that's what we're going to make apparent with Bo. But I just absolutely love these Sims and I love them. I just love them. Okay. There's no more that can be said. Um, but I thought I would introduce you to these two quickly. We'll we'll come back to these at a later date. I'm unsure if I'm going to be moving on to this lot straight away and building here. Um, but we could do. I'm not too sure yet. I don't know where we're going to go after um, Pam and Paul's. But um, I just thought I'd introduce you to them before we move on. Um, so we'll go down now to Pam and Paul's house. And I'm going to introduce you to the two dogs and then we'll start building. Well, here we are, back at Pam and Paul's, and this is the lovely Janice. Janice, she's an elder Yorkshire Terrier. I reckon she's a good 13 years old, this one. Schoolmer indeed. Yes, schoolmer indeed. Um, so this is Pam's love. Pam's love. She's been with us since she was a puppy as well. Um, I just we need to get a bit more of a closer up a close look at her. Ah, oh, oh, she's adorable. Oh, Oh, I thought she was going bland in one eye then, darling. It's just reflection. <laughs> I was like, I didn't know that was the thing. They start to get cloudy vision in their elders. But look at that. Welcome. Welcome, Janice. I just thought Janice, one, a few of you guys said Janice as well. And we've actually spelt it the way that Janice Joplin did too. Um, sometimes in the UK or mostly in the UK, we spell it with a C-E at the end, the name Janice. But I thought it's after our favourite singer. We needed to make that happen indeed. So that's what we've been and gone and done. Now, Paul is all the way down here. He is having a bit of a fishing sesh. Um, where's Keith? Keith? Keith was here just a minute ago. This is Keith. Where are you? Oh, he's running back home, love. He's had it. He's had it. So Ke Keith is a West Highland Terrier. He's a ter Oh, look at that action shot. Keith, I'm absolutely for that. I really am. So this is Keith. Keith is a little bit of an adventurous dog. Loves to go on adventures with Paul. Um, constantly out on the fishing boat. He's always around the docks as well, chasing the birds and the pigeons. Well, pigeons are birds, Aiden, to be honest. But yeah, he, he, he's constantly around here, weeing, sniffing, eating fish, going into the back of the fish and chip shop and nicking stuff out the bins. He's a little bit of a menace, but um, Paul absolutely loves him. I was just about to call Paul Keith then. I mean, Keith would have been a wonderful name for Paul, but he's called Paul. Anyway, on that note, Let's get building. I've introduced you to everybody. Let's get in. Right, we're into the kitchen again. I've I've put a um kind of not a divider, but I've just broke the room up with this little like ceiling beam. I just think it looks nice. Maybe this was an original wall or something that they knocked down to make the kitchen bigger or something. And one of you guys also told me about there's a secret key in debug. There's a secret key in debug. So there is um Pam's key. There is Pam's key and it's hidden beyond the plant pot. Hit and be on the plant pot in case of anybody who wants to come in. Apart from anybody who's going to touch the pasties because we do not want that. Anyway, moving on. 
So I'm thinking we need a small dining room table in here. I'll probably be able to fit four chairs in here, to be honest with you, and still have enough room for them to be able to get to it. We're going to try that. And I'm thinking this one here with like a flowery tablecloth. Yes, that one. Oh, that one indeed. Yes. What chairs come with this pack again? Oh, those would be perfect. Oh, it's all going swimmingly already. Um, I mean, I don't need to go white with them. I could just go, oh, the yellow might look nice. Yes, a little mixture of yellow in here. Can I get four chairs in here? Let's, um, oh, for God's sake, my um, escape key is broken again. Is anybody else's? I know my escape keys get, but I don't know what's going on. I try and like exit out of something and yeah, it doesn't work. Um, what another bug, another bug for an already extremely buggy game. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for adding these bugs in for us. I love them. <laughs> Absolutely love them, I do. Um, and if you didn't know, I'm being very sarcastic indeed. I do not like them at all. Um, yeah. Yeah, I think three would be fine, actually. Three would be fine. I'm kind of feeling it. Kind of feeling it. I've also gave Janice a little bowl down here, too. Janice has got her bowl. All is good in the world. Now, I did... Oh, I've used these as well. I looked through the plants on stream yesterday as well, out of that new kit pack. Um, Some of them are okay. Some of them are just... It's just not for me. They're a little bit kitschy. They're just not my style. Um... I know people will like them out there, but for me, it's not my vibe. It's not my vibe, I won't lie. Uh, but there are a few really lovely objects like that one for starters, but some of them, I'm just not. What would I give it out of 10, you may say? Um, four, four or five out of 10. Yeah, it's not the greatest of kit packs for me. I was expecting a bit more from a plant kit pack. Won't lie. So there we go. So we need hanging plates up in here. It's a must. It is an absolute must. So I think what I'm going to do is pull out a lot of decorating objects, actually, and then we'll start placing them around together. OK, we've pulled out a few objects here. I think we need to light this area up a little bit better. So I've pulled out two of these sconces. I'm going to put them either side here, I think. One and one. Beautiful. Just in front of the untable. Um, Yeah, I'm kind of here for that. Kind of here for that moment. Now, obviously, plates. A parakeet, a parakeet plate is um, the best place. I mean, the kitchen is the best place for a par parakeet plate. <laughs> I'm going to get all my words muddled today. Just be pre-warn you. I'm tired. All right? I'm bloody tired. I'm bloody tired. I've had a day. I've had another day, for goodness sake. Anyway, laundry. We want laundry on the top here. Now, from memory... Doesn't like the wash machine hate when you put stuff on top of it. I can't remember, but we're going to do it anyway. And I'm going to put a spray bottle up there as well to get her stains out. To get her stains out from where she's four down, pissed as a fart on the harbour and got dirt on her, on her dresses. <laughs> that is the storyline and that, that is what we're sticking to. Now, I said that she's a coffee drinker. I'm going to change that. She's a tea drinker. She's a tea drinker through and through. So I'm going to have to give her that big, ugly fucking tea maker. Why can't we just have a kettle? Can we have a kettle? They missed out big time not putting a kettle into the cottage living um, expansion. They really, really did. So we're just going to have to use this one here instead. Um, we're going to have to use that big kettle and just do a little teapot down on the, um, on the table here instead. Yeah, I think that should be okay. That might cut in when they're eating and stuff, but oh well, that'll be fine. It will. I'm going to put another teapot under here, just in case she's got around. Oh, that's such a cute teapot. One of, oh, we can't put two. I'm very surprised there's a snap point under there. I, bet, I reckon the Sims were feeling very, um, I don't know, just very giving that day. Very giving indeed. Now, I do want dog treats. I want dog treats up here, but I tried to put them up there and they cut into this. So I'm just going to whiffle them a little bit further out so they don't cut into anything. There we go. Oh, beautiful. Dog treats for Janice. We need one of these up here. And I did put one on the other side as well, even though it is covered in wisteria. Thank you guys as well for letting me know about wisteria and how long it takes to grow. Um, I won't be doing that. I won't be having wisteria because <laughs> it takes years to grow. And I haven't got years. I want my wisteria now. I even looked at like some, you can buy like mature versions of it. Um... But it only, it, does, it only flowers. 
It only flowers, um, not well, it doesn't flower like all the time. Well, I don't expect it to flower all the time. But I said it's a bit like a rose bush. The, the, the blooms don't last that long. Um, and I just don't see the what the worth in that, to be honest with you. So I'm not doing it. All right? Good. I'm glad we've got that settled. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> um, I reckon she likes to put on a bit, little bit of music when she's baking. I've just got that vibe. I've got that vibe. Maybe like an old like clock radio or something in here. Can I put this anywhere without it looking weird? What about on the top here? Yeah, we'll put it on the top there. I'm going to change the color of it as well, though, I think. It's just a just a black, yeah. Just a black. Listens to a bit of music when she's doing a bit of a, a bit of cooking, a bit of coking. Oh, that's cute. I think it needs a rug in here though. We've got a rug outside, so that doesn't matter. We won't put one there either. We'll put a rug under Janice's food bowl. But I'm fancying a bit of a rug going on in here as well. And I re I had this one in my head. I'm wondering if this is gonna be an okay rug. To oh, it is. Oh, it is sets in that fridge beautifully as well. Oh, doesn't it just? Doesn't it just? There we go. Oh, that's beautiful. <laughs> All right, Aiden. <laughs> I'm like stunning. And it's a fucking rug. <laughs> beautiful, that. Absolutely made up that that's in my house. Calm yourself down, Aiden. It's a rug. And a little food bowl there. Maybe a broom up on this as well. Can I check search for a broom and it would show up? Probably not because Sims. Yeah, of course not. So let me find it. There she blows. The laundry day broom. I'm going to have to move the food bowl out because it kind of cuts into it. Um, do we want to go for that kind of colour in here? I think we do, to be honest. I do think we do. I do. I think we do. I absolutely think we do. Yeah, a bit red. Why not, you know? Um, so let's um, move this in a little bit here. Janice's food bowl can go there. Oh, cute. Yeah, no, I'm feeling the vibes in here. Do I want a curtain up on top there? I mean, we're going to struggle for a curtain because you know what the curtains are like. But I'm just feeling like something like up on the window, up on that top bit, maybe. I mean, we're not going to find anything. No, I don't think so. Don't think so at all. Or a blind or something. Yeah, I'm going to go for that one. A roly blind. And I've tucked it a bit further up as well. So it doesn't obstruct that view from here. Because you can see the water and everything from the kitchen sink. So, lovely. Beautiful, stunning, absolutely here for it. I don't think we need to put anything else in here. Maybe like a store or something, a storage down here. I had something in my head then, but I remembered that it was indeed custom content. So that was a sad day when that happened. So let's see if I can find something that would just act as storage behind here. I'm going to go for this. I've sized it down. I've sized it down, but it's just like a little storage ottoman. Yeah. Yeah, maybe blankets and stuff are in there. Ooh, ooh. See, I've, I've got on one now. Blanket. Can we... Does, that, does anything come up with blanket? No, of course it doesn't. What about throw? What about throw? Come on, give us a throw, darling. No, don't want to do that either. I'll be right back. Guys, I'm so sorry. I just realised it was in the bloody middle of the screen. And that is not looking at yourself when you're recording. For goodness sake, you'll have to excuse me. I was right in the way then, when I? For goodness, I'm back again here now, though. Anyway, storylines. So this here, it's got throws in, but it's also got beach towels. Now, I've had a bit of a thought. I reckon Pam loves a bit of a wild swim in the morning. I reckon she jumps in off of the jetty or maybe just off of here. <laughs> just a bit of a drop, actually. <laughs> maybe not. All of the sharp wood down there. That's probably not the best vibe. Um, I reckon she walks down and jumps off the jetty safely. Um, main reasons being, maybe she's got a hangover. And the best way to get rid of that is to jump in a code seawater. So that is the vibe. And that's why I thought I'd bring that one out instead. <laughs> instead, I'm still pissed off that I was in the middle of the screen for that, that whole thing. <laughs> oh, well, nothing can be helped. I'm back again now. So living room. Now, I don't know what kind of like orientation and stuff I want this living room to be in. Um... I really don't know. I think I'm going to put a TV on top here. So I'm going to have to knock this wall down. So let's do that before I go in and try and find a lovely sofa and whatnot. So TV doesn't need to be massive. Maybe just like a modest. No, can, what about if I size that up? That's okay. But I just hate the texture on it. It looks shit. And if I size that one down, the light floats. Look, I can't bear it. 
What about you? What about if I sized you down? Yeah, that's a bit better. Yeah, we'll use this one. We're going to use one of these. And I'm going to whiffle this up above the fireplace. Now, you if you know me at all, you know I do not like TVs above fireplaces. It's just something. I just don't like it. I don't know why. It's so weird. But I just don't. I don't vibe with it. Yeah, that's at the perfect height. Let's get you fixed on there. And then we'll fix that wall back on. And then what I'm going to do is whiffle in and find some sofas and just general little bits, I think. Yeah, that's okay. It's up a bit high. I'm going to move that down. I'll be right back. Okay, so I have pulled out this sofa. I think this sofa is just going to suit her perfectly. She can whip off the cover, chuck it in for a quick wash in case she pisses herself after a night out on the... <laughs> We're making her sound so bad. We're making her sound so bad. But do you know what? Say la vie. Say la vie, my darlings. Um, that's just life. Sometimes we piss ourselves, you know? And that is the mantra. That is the mantra today. What I've done is put two sconces up on top of this as well. Um, I had to take the whole wall down to do that because it was very annoying indeed. Um, what I was thinking was adding this here too, bringing in a couple more of these bad boys and just doing a moment like that by the fireplace. I just think it would look nice. Let's get that detail back, please. Thank you. Yeah, that's cute. That wood almost looks a little bit too warm. I'm, I'm, we're, we're mixing woods in here, but I'm thinking about going for this a bit more flatter wood in here. Yes, that's that's fine. That can say like it is the top one. That doesn't matter too much at all. So I'm going to put two sofas there. We're going to use this ugly curtain, um, which is from the base game. This was the only one that was decent enough to use in here, to be honest with you. Um, and still had that fugly vibe that we want going on here. A little bit dated in here, um, but still looked after. Really nice house. Still looked after. Lovely little cottage. Cozy. Cozy vibes we're going for. And not necessarily overly cluttered either. I don't want too much stuff everywhere, to be honest. Um, I do want to squeeze this in here. I have sized this down. Just so we've got a little throw moment there. Lovely. I'm feeling it. Okay. Coffee on table. So I'm going to put a coffee table down here now. Um, I don't know what vibe to go for in here, to be honest with you. Um, I'm wondering if I could use something with a bit of a pattern on. Uh, oh, I don't know. I could kind of see her with that, but I wish this just came in a normal wood swatch with the pattern on top of it instead of all of these ugly, stupid Sims colours. That's always in the game. <laughs> For goodness sake. Um, maybe not. What, well, what can we use? We're going to go for this one. Just the base game one. Just the base game. It's kind of got a little bit of a a little bit of an older vibe to it. So I'm going I'm going to do that. I'm going to flop you directly above it though, my dear. I'm going to keep it in white as well. I'm going to mix up a bit of the furniture in here. Um yeah, I do like the two sofas. I was, it was I was almost wanting to use two chairs as well. I wondered if I could do two chairs instead of two sofas. Yeah, let's do that. We'll put a sofa on this side. And we're going to use two chairs instead. Uh, the matching chairs with this. I forgot what they look like, to be honest. I mean, they don't have to match. We could bring in that vibe. Oh, that's the perfect colour. Oh, well, slap me on the tits and call me Julie. Absolutely going to do that. Right. And I'll put these here like this. Maybe, what about if I mixed another colour in here? Just so it looked like they're kind of like, I don't know, just a bit odd. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I think we might just stick with the pink. I mean, I didn't mind that. I didn't mind that blue either, but... Yeah, we're going to stick with a set. It's a three-piece suite, for goodness sake. She got it from... Um, where could she have got it from? There's a place in Plymouth called Chaplin's. Um, and it just sells goods, furniture. And um, she got it from Chaplin's. She, she got it... That's, that's going to be an inside joke to probably only people from Plymouth. But, guys, she got it from Chaplin's or Tragel Mills. I think everybody in Devon and Cornwall will know what Tragel Mills is. <laughs> Tragel Mills. Oh, my life. My life. A bit of Trago. I don't mind a bit of Tragel Mills, I must say. Don't mind it at all. Um, Maybe I should use the cottage living side table in here. Oh, God, look at the fucking size of it. Goodness sake. I know I, I always moan about it, but it just infuriates me. Nothing needs to be that big. I hope scaling is going to be so much better in The Sims 5, but I won't hold thy breath. Not at all. Yeah, we'll mix up a bit of that as well. Bit of wood, bit of that. 
one of those, two of those. Now we need a nice rug underneath of it as well. So let me find one. We're going to go for that one. I've sized it up a little bit so it looks a little bit weird. But I'm still going to go for it. I just think it fits in with the vibe in here. I won't lie. Now what I wanted to do is move this. Because that's a bit crowded there. You probably saw I changed something in the kitchen then as well. I've actually bought this object in rather than using that um, that ottoman that we had. I just think that's a bit more fitting in the kitchen with the like china plates and whatnot in. And I just shuffled everything along. I'm sure the Sims will be able to use this. But as always, I will make sure I play a test it. Um, yeah, that looks cute. That looks cute. I do like it. Now we need to remember she loves to drink. She loves to drink. So she does need a bar in here. And I don't think we're going to be able to fit any kind of full bar in a small cottage um, living room. So I think we're going to have to go for the globe. We're going to have to go for the globe. I just wish we could make all bar drinks on this. Um, and not just those like tray of drinks. Do you know what I mean? But we're going to use it anyway. Maybe this was like Pam's husband and it's just something Pam's husband's. And maybe she just kept it. Kept it and it keeps all of her drinks in there now as well. I mean, I'm for that storyline, to be honest. Yes, I enjoy it. We need a little picture up here. Uh, and around here, I'm just going to put a nice little, um, uh, blah, 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 a little long side table on that part there. I'll probably use the same one on each side, actually, maybe. Let's have a little look, shall we? Something cottage. Oh, I could like use this one here because that would match in with that quite nicely. And don't forget, we're not worried about matching wood tones with these builds. Um, So you'll have to ignore it. We're going to put a lamp on top there. Grandfather clock in the corner, I think. I think that would look really cute actually in there. Um, Just this oldie one. I mean, what do you, what color? Uh, I don't know. Look at the texture on that. Looks like it was made in the Sims one. I mean, this one's not much better, but we're going to use this one. And I think I'll keep it in a white, actually. I think I'll keep it in a white. Yeah, that looks cute behind there. I do like that. I do like that indeed. I think we need a nice little bunch of flowers up here. Maybe they could be from Paul. Paul gave her a bunch of flowers because she was having a bad day. Sometimes she has a bit of a bad day, says Pam. And I think Paul always tries to cheer her up with some flowers and whatnot. Oh my God, I hope they get together. I really do. I really hope they get together. Maybe this lily pot. Yeah, there we go. In that colorway as well. Maybe we could change the blue. Um, Come on, come through. Oh, there we go. Pink and yellow. Oh, stone. I'm for it. Absolutely for that. It's a bit weirdly lit over here for some reason. I don't know why. But I don't think we've got any room to put a sconce in on this side. But I'm going to give it a good old... Oh, we can put it up there. We can put it there. I'm going to size it down. There we go. That's brightened that room up a little bit more. Nice big picture up there. I'm not going to put anything here. Just because I don't want it to block this like sort of pathway. Um, And the same over the here as well. I don't know if I am going to do another table over there to be honest with you. Maybe a bench or something. Maybe a little bench moment. Let me see if I can find... Not a bench, but like a little ottoman down there. Um, comfort and joy. And then I can flop one of these down here. I don't think we're going to find anything that's going to match in well with the aesthetic in here, to be honest. I know it's a big eclectic mix of um, weirdness, but I don't know. I mean, that one does suit it. The top pattern does, but it's the bloody underneath colour. Once again, the swatch is spoiling everything. Oh, there we go. Yeah, that one's a bit better. Yeah, we'll move this one. Hopefully she'll be able to get to that. She should be able to. She should be able to. It should be fine. Okay, so let's pull out some paintings together, shall we? Let's pull out some paintings. I think maybe going for something, just like a little scene, like a little landscapey scene or something. You know, I'm feeling it, but I'm probably going to fail at finding something that will match in okay. So I think actually I'm going to find something and then I'll show you what I put in. Okay, I've put a few more finishing touches in. Put up a lovely little painting up there. Um, and I use this little cluster of them because there's like some boats and like maybe it's places she's traveled with her husband. I would imagine that would have been a bit apparent. I've also put a bookcase in this corner as well um, and moved the door along a little bit. The only problem is, is this sconce is just going to get, it's going to get hit by it and it's going to be really annoying I mean, you wouldn't want that there either. So I don't know what I'm going to do there. I might just, yeah, just forget about it, to be honest. 
Um, I've also made a start on the bathroom as well. I don't think we're going to get time. No, we're going over a bit of time today. Um, so I've made a start on the bathroom, but I'll probably finish that for tomorrow. And then tomorrow we'll come back and we'll do the bedrooms. We'll do the bedrooms um, and get those complete tomorrow as well. But so far, I think it's looking pretty cute, pretty cottagey. I'm feeling Pam's vibe coming through in here and I'm for it. Oh, one thing we do. In fact, I'll leave you with that. We do need to put a little lamp on top of here, don't we? So we need a nice little lamp to leave on today. Um, just something got a bit older, a bit older, a little, yeah, maybe something like this. This has got a pink one as well, hasn't it? Oh, that's perfect. Or this one. No, that one, it needs like a lamp shade on it, to be honest with you. Oh, what about, no, <laughs> absolutely not. Oh, that's what, that's the ticket. Yeah, I do think. No, I don't. <laughs> God, I'm so indecisive. I'm so indecisive. We'll go with that one. We'll go with that one. So we'll come back to this tomorrow for Pam's final time and we'll finish off the top two bedrooms together. Um, and as always, get some lovely stories and everything down in the comments, my love. I'm going to leave you in this screen today. I'm not going to switch over to the other one because um, I've got a very, very needy boy who wants to go out for a walkies. So I need to get that done right now. Um, but yes, thank you so much for watching. As always, give me some more wonderful ideas. I've been absolutely love reading through your comments. And not only that, everybody else loves reading through your comments as well. So comments are really important. And I never say this, but don't forget to give the video a like. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, rude for a start. Um, so get subscribing. I'd be very um, appreciative. Very would. Anyway, I'm going to leave you now. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you again tomorrow. Goodbye.